I also want to look at a painting. In this case, it is Simultaneous Visions by Boccione. And what we're seeing here appears to be a very cheerful image. We're actually seeing a woman in a high rise looking down. You're seeing the reflection of her face in the window. This is the reflection on the left. This is her actual face and body on the right. And she looks cheerful. The colors tell us that she's cheerful. We have these blues and greens. She looks like she's very happy about what she's seeing. But what is she seeing? Well, she looks down. If we look a little closer, looking down at the street, and we're seeing tanks coming in and, in fact, killing people. Here's our tank. In fact, it's at the back of her head, so it's kind of getting at this idea of we all know that the cleansing power of war is good. We just don't want to talk about it. And we see the tanks clearly shooting at people or killing people because we have everyone sort of vertical. We have these vertical rectangles telling us people are moving. But then we have horizontal forms here and here in the middle. Uh, the tank has clearly shot down Iron Man right there. And what's happening is this is an army coming in to invade this town. It's not what you would think of as a cheerful image, and yet to the futurists it is because it means the cleansing power of war has arrived. They're going to cleanse things. Suddenly, society can move forward. So it's this very odd image where we have something that usually creates fear, the idea of war and tanks, but clearly we have this young woman smiling down on it, thrilled by the idea. And then the entire composition is broken up, just like we would see in cubism. But instead of analyzing form, what's happening is they're using that jagged fragmentation to break up the image, to make you question what you're looking at, and hopefully to make you question sort of the fragmentation of society and how war can cleanse all of that and make us all focus purely on this one idea, on the idea of the future.